Hi gang, this is Mike Garner from MrMikeGarner.com and Mr GTV. Coming to you on a wonderful Sunday morning, 31st of November. A lot of people had Halloween parties last night and um, the clocks went back in the UK so I am now seven hours ahead of um, GMT which makes broadcasting possibly easier because it means that I can get up at seven o'clock and it's only midnight with you guys in the UK. I've got no agenda for this chat, but it might be quite lengthy, but we'll stay with it because I'm gonna say some really important stuff that connects to what I posted on the Michael Garner Facebook page. Not the Mr. Mike Garner, not the Mr. GTV, the Michael Garner, the family page, me in Thailand. And I'm very cautious what I post for a number of reasons. One is because I am an activist, I am a free thinker, I am open-minded, I do my research, and I don't say things willy-nilly, um, which is a wonderful old expression, willy-nilly. In other words, I don't talk bullshit. Uh, if you want to know the source of my information, um, it's come from all government sites. I'm not making this stuff up and then it's considered. So I'm offering it to you for your consideration, but I posted two things and I'm very cautious because I don't want to be deplatformed. I was last year just for actually posting something on creating a strong immune system using your mind at a time when um, the whole concept of herd immunity, which has been science <laughs> for decades, known virology, and all of a sudden, they've seemed to have rewritten what we scientifically and biologically and pharmaceutically know to suit an agenda which I particularly feel um, is divisive. But if I get deplatformed, I'm unable to help the plethora of people that I help that are in need of my support because a lot of them are end of life or in uh, trauma or having critical care and so I'm cautious what I say so read between the lines but I posted two things today and the first one was regarding this COP26 and it was talking about evidentially uh, the fact that you've got these millionaires um, coming supposedly talking about climate change and carbon footprint and reducing CO2 emissions and the whole thing could have, could have been done on Zoom. We've got to work on Zoom, we've got to stay at home. Uh, these guys can travel with lots of support. Uh, they've got boats out in, um, out at sea, um, providing food, security, uh, they've got the diesel engines running constantly during the whole conference. You've got people flying in on private jets. You've got Biden coming over in the Beast, which is a massive, something like 250 brake horsepower armored uh, diesel guzzler. And there's one behind it as well. And a, and a complete um, uh, support team of security. Um, it seems that celebrities and these politicians don't have to abide by the rules they're enforcing on us. I mean, the whole concept of um, the reset that they are proposing, um, both with the medical situation that's being created, in my opinion, and the um, climate situation that's being exploited at the moment, not denying that there's um, a virus, not denying that there's climate change, but certainly uh, questioning with serious evidence and um, that it's anything like what we're being told. For me, this is all about control and it's all about re-establishing them and us. Um, you know, you've got um, the World Economic Forum, uh, Klaus Schwab saying, uh, you'll have nothing and you'll be happy. Um, but I don't see the royal families, I don't see these bankers, these elites, these corporate cartels, these corporate CEOs, I don't see these celebrities, um, I don't see Bill Gates, 
and people like him who are the movers and shakers of this global reset. I don't see them having nothing. You know, if they want us to uh, insulate our homes and change our boilers and have electric cars and don't eat meat and uh, all the other things that they are proposing and wearing masks and having all the jabberoonies and all that and social distancing, then lead from the front, lead by example. Um, you know, there's been lots of messiahs, lots of prophets, lots of seers who have led the way in history and they've led by example. They have lived the life. They are gurus, not gurus. They do what they say. They teach and preach and live that life. They don't tell other people to do it um, and do the exact opposite. You know, they don't just dictate the law. They live by the law. That These people now going to COP26 are the worst example. Um, you know, you've got pop stars who are preaching to us about conservation and taking the higher moral ground but then living a life that's completely opposite to what they are telling us to live and they're all funded um, it's complete hypocrisy and if you can't see that then you really need to open your eyes and, and do your research as I say so this is just another attempt to create more reasons to lock down based on um, modeling computer modeling that can be um, manipulated um, if you've got an argument there's enough information out there whatever side of the argument you're on on any subject you can prove it with statistics statistics you can lie with statistics you can lie with data and particularly if you are in a position where you can delete any data that supports the opposite agenda or the opposite point of view or any other point of view. Um, if you can control the information, then you can prove anything. So, and, and clearly, you know, if there was a genuine situation, whether it's climate or medical, um, you wouldn't have to silence people. You would not. And, and what I find interesting is actually uh, the other thing that's been silenced is the plethora of information that's dictating that some of the agendas that are out there, particularly uh, relating to what I'm going to call Colin um, and Vera, which is um, the actual situation that we've got in the world at the moment and then what's supposed to be the cure, the Vera, the Jabberoonie. Um, they're suppressing the evidence of that and I posted some evidence that was actually in a UK newspaper, surprisingly. Obviously that newspaper decided, and it was, it was a mainstream paper, but it wasn't actually a leading, it wasn't the Guardian or the Times or the Observer, you know, it, 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 was, it was like a local paper that bravely released data that's very hard to find. Um, the yellow card scheme that the government have done to report adverse reactions and that's very revealing and compelling reading and that's evidence based and you really need to take a look at that and if it hasn't been deleted that's available on the Michael Garner um, Facebook page as a post um, and that's not my opinion those are government statistics that aren't freely available and it's shocking reading and what's happening now is they are trying to justify uh, what I feel are going to be future seen adverse reactions which is this myocarditis and strokes and blood clots in young people as um, there is a rollout of um, the Vera, uh, the Jabberoonie um, to a younger group of people and they're trying to make out that there's been for decades undetected um, blood clots in kids and undetected um, dormant causes of strokes and heart attacks and seizures. No, they hasn't. We've never heard about this before. This is being introduced. This is what's called 
predictive programming. They are putting it into your consciousness so that when it happens, somewhere in the back of your mind, say, oh yeah, 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 that, that, that does happen undetected. No, it doesn't. Um, it's being put there to, it's like, it's like predictive programming, you go on Netflix and pretty much everything is about the end of the world. It's about uh, zombies um, and plagues and um, pandemics and um, resets of civilization like this Squid Game, uh, which is the latest Netflix sensation. Started off, you know, in Korea and China, which is where this whole thing started off. Um, but 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 they've turned it into a game, and it, it, it's a death game, an end game. And there's so many programs like Colony, where they've reset society and they've used aliens as that. And that'll be the next thing that they, 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 they're doing, like the medical thing that's going on at the moment globally, and then they're doing the climate thing, COP26 globally. And the next thing will be the alien agenda, and they've already put that into the consciousness that, you know, the the Vatican has said. You know, there's evidence of aliens, and NASA have released footage, and the military have released footage, and there's, there's going to be this massive disclosure. And it's all conditioning, it's all social engineering. I mean, I've told you before that the government, government to govern your mentality, have got a behavioural insights team. They're working with psychologists. This is the same sort of stuff as um, was used by the CIA. It's it's mind control and we're a victim to it. So at the moment I'm just driving now um, into Hui Hin town to get a massage. Um, the answer to this in my opinion is to live your life and unplug from this programming. Don't give it ratings. And I've got programs at the moment, and it's not about me selling my programs. I mean, you know, if you go on Mr. GTV, it's for free. Um, but please, don't just listen to me. Do your research. Don't just accept what you're being told. Look behind the story. Look who benefits from all this. And there's people who are becoming billionaires at the expense of other people who are having the businesses locked down and shut down. And, you know, certain countries now are proposing uh, their fourth and fifth lockdowns. And some countries are still under severe restrictions like Australia. And, you know, if you look at Israel, which is the most jabbed population, they're now wanting to do the fifth jab and going into their fourth lockdown. And as I say, we are getting sicker as a population and they're gonna blame it on something which they're gonna say is an airborne thing. Um, but I think it's, in my opinion, and it's only my opinion, and it's very controversial, but I think it's um, being jabberooned into you. I really do, I really do. If you do your research, I mean, this thing that we're having, this serum, it's not been approved. And it's not a conspiracy theory that, normally speaking, they test this on lab rats. And if you do your research, you'll find out that when they did that, um, in 2018 and 2019, because this state injectable was patented before the pandemic even hit, which is a massive coincidence, isn't it? I mean, how can you have a vaccine, um, if you like, patented before there's a need for a vaccine? The whole thing's been planned. And, you know, yes, global warming, climate change, climate always changes. The planet's going to be fine. It's the people we've got to protect. And at the moment, the people are being suppressed population is being controlled mentally by behavioural insight teams and the likes of Boris Johnson, Macron, these people, world leaders, these elites are multi-billionaires and through cronyism they're becoming richer 
and we're becoming poorer. Their freedoms are not being checked. They can do what they want and we're being suppressed. Just watch what happens this winter into spring and then remember what I'm telling you here. Um, and I'm not trying to be right and I'm not trying to be clever. I do have a solution to this, uh, but it's a metaphysical one. Um, not a physical one because I'm massively into the fact that the whole of this is a story um, but through our five senses it feels very real if you've had the Jabberoonie and you regret it if you're in fear of the potential um, implications of all this um, trust me you can use your mind to overcome fear or anything physical we are just a pure mind. So don't go into fear. If you've got any regrets, don't go into regret. Don't go into depression. Um, embrace your power. And if you want to chat, I'm here for that. And I will talk to you for free. And I can send you things for free that will return your liberty. And watch Mr. GTV also, because trust me, uh, we need to come together as a unity to overcome this tyranny. All that rhymes. Um, I'm going for my massage now. Um, you know where I am if you need me. Take care. Be powerful. Enjoy your mind.